hello everyone so in this video i am going to explain how to create complicated column on sql server so sql server provide us uh, with a feature called computed column that allow us to add a new column to a table with the value derived from the value of other column in the same table so simply i am going to create first one column after that i will add one more column that column will derive value from the existing column let's see how does it work let me clean this okay so i have created now i am going to insert insert mm, into com call values there are two column first name and last name okay rahul saying i want to give one more value just to show clarity more clarity amit sharma okay so let's run this so here i have a two column and let's see the value select star from uh, com call common column uh, let's see so here we have a two value a two column first name last name i want to add one more column which will have a full name means addition of first name and last name so it's a very simple like uh, while uh, adding a new column i can uh, make it like it, it should uh, create value from the existing column so alter column name com call alter table table name add i am going to add new column the name is full name and instead of declaring a uh, integer or like data type or any constraint with this column i am just adding a uh, one new syntax i am just adding the old column name with concatenate operator so i should get a uh, value of full name from first name and last name so let me add this column i have added let's see the result so in the full name value should be rahul singh and amit sharma yeah very simple like if we have to derive if we have to uh, create a column and uh, it, the column should data should get data from existing column then instead of creating a column and updating the value of that column it's better to go with derived column now next is persisted computed column so this is same as computed column the only difference is when we when we uh, create a computed column without persist then what happen whenever we run the sql query it compute the value from existing uh, from first and last name and then it gives value to full name but when we apply persist then what will happen it will store the value when you change the data in the table sql server compute the result based on the expression of computed column and store the result in this persisted column physically but when we don't use persist it doesn't store the result physically it derive every time whenever we execute the code okay so this is uh, about computed column and persisted computed column so in the next video i will explain how to drop column and truncate table thank you uh, and syntax like simply here if you apply persisted that's it this is this much only thank you